This is part two of the exercise seven, Gradient Twilight, where we will continue our work and finish our drawing of the nativity scene. For our next image, we're going to create a palm tree. And uh, we're going to create it uh, in silhouette, but we're also going to try something new and unique. We're going to put a shadow behind it, and we're going to do all of this freehand. So I'm going to start out by choosing my color. I actually would like to make this gray, so I'm going to choose a, a dark gray. And I'm going to make it even darker. I don't want it to be black, because I think my palm tree is actually going to be across my city. And that's going to be, it's going to be reflecting some of the light from, uh, from the sky. So I'll start with the um, with paintbrush. I'll use um, the smallest size that the paintbrush has, which is 8 pixels. Well, that's for the watercolor paintbrush. Let's use the normal paintbrush. And now it should be 3. 3 pixels. That's better. Okay, so um, let's start. So the first thing I'm going to draw is the palm tree itself. I'll start with the trunk. I'll go up. Pull out the leaves. And this doesn't have to be critical because it's, well, it's nighttime. Slightly wider bottom. And we'll close that. The next thing I'd like to draw in my picture would be a palm tree. And to do that, I would like to um, make it a silhouette not completely black because I think it's part of the branches or part of the palms are going to overlap the city and I want it to be show up so I'm going to choose a darker gray so if I go to gray and then choose in the scale it's well not quite black but darker um, so I've chosen my color it's here um, but I need to make that color too so now it's color two I'll use the select tool freeform select tool and I'll trace out my palm tree. Remember this is a gradient we can't use paint bucket here. So I'll start to draw my tree put the palm fronds in and bring down my trunk and then I'll press delete and that should create my tree. I also want to make a shadow for my tree and if my light source is over here, my shadow should be on this side. Uh, for my shadow, though, if I were to use the same select tool and draw my shadow below the palm tree in this darker region, bring it up, and I'll just get the leaf count to be about the same. This leaves on this side, or palm fronds on this side, should be different, or should be uh, able to stick out farther. Yeah, that should do it. And I copy this, Control C, Control V. So now I have a shallow shadow from down below that if I bring it down here, it fades away. But up here, it's a shadow, and the gradient is, is different for my tree. The last project we're going to do, or the last element we're going to do, is our primary subject. We've got the background in for the sky. We have the city. We have some sand dunes, a palm tree, or two. Often these are done in groups of three. I would recommend doing three of them here, but for time's sake and for this tutorial, we'll just do one. We are going to do our last silhouette, and that last silhouette is going to be in black. So I'll change my colors to black, and I'll use, again, the freeform selection. And some students have found this to be hard, um, but we want to uh, draw a picture, since this is titled The Nativity Scene, a picture of Joseph and Mary traveling to uh, Bethlehem. So we'll start with Joseph's robe down here in the bottom. We'll bring it up. I think I'll move Joseph over. So I'll bring it up here, put in his elbow, bring up his arm shoulder, and I'm not going to do his head right now. I'm going to bring his arm down, extend it, drop his robe down. And I'm just trying to create a pattern that uh, uh, for his robe that I can recognize. And then maybe a jagged line there. If I press delete, now I have his robe. Looks like I didn't quite get black. So I should be able to use the paint bucket and choose true black and pour it in. There we are. So now Joseph is there. 
for his head, um, because it's, it's often difficult to do all at once, I've did, chosen to do it separately. I'll bring up the uh, back of his neck. He is, he is wearing a, a robe, a uh, hood, so I'll bring that down. Maybe I'll stick his nose out and bring it down to the base. Press delete. And again, I still have the background color not being black. There, now it should be. So I'll use the paint bucket to compensate or make up for that. His nose may be sticking out a little farther than it's supposed to, but we'll leave it like that for now. Let's move on and do Mary. Um, and for this, I think I'll zoom in a little bit. I'll just use the zoom in the corner. Use the scroll bar to see that region. I do want to see where Joseph is. That's the corner of his elbow. So I'm going to put Mary on a, on a donkey over here. And again, using the silhouette and doing it in pieces, since it is a silhouette, that'll make this job a lot easier. So I'll, I'll start with the back leg in the darkest regions. I'll bring it up. And start with the back leg. There's our donkey. Bring it up over the top. Give him his head, his nose, down to the front, front leg. Maybe I'll put a bend in it. Again, in silhouette, I can get away with a lot more than I would normally. And I think I'll bring this back up and just trace his leg back down and finish more of that later. I can press delete. Now I have a silhouette of my donkey. Um, looks like this leg needs to fill in a little bit more so I'll do that now that's better and I'll give my donkey some ears so I'm just creating the the pattern and pressing delete then um, now for Mary uh, for Mary to sit oh um, for Mary for, to sit on the donkey I think I'll just do silhouette I'll draw her arch back. She's leaning over a little bit because it's been a long trip. And I think that's all I need for Mary. Press delete. And then maybe I'll give my donkey a tail. A little jaggedness at the bottom. There. So there's my donkey and Mary. And now I'll give um, reins to Joseph. I'll do those by clicking the curve line tool. And I still have black. So with the curve line tool, I need to start to draw by clicking down with a normal mouse button, the left mouse button. I'll draw a line straight to the donkey. But I have to click two more times. One, the first click defines the angle that the cord leaves. Uh, the first click and the second click defines the angle that leaves the second so if I click there I should have my line I'm gonna do it again I could copy this line but I'm not going to I like the idea of having the lines look somewhat natural so and which means they're not I, I, exactly in the same place so maybe there and there that sounds good okay we have one more thing that we can do, and that's to put in the shadow for Joseph and Mary. And the shadow can be quite shallow. Um, but you know, I think due to time, I think we're going to call this good. And we'll save this as silhouette.